everybody, welcome back to Art a la carte. Sometimes I like to just take a break from like really intensive art pieces and draw some just fun doodles and cartoons. So I thought, let's just do that in a video together. So I'm going to draw five, ooh, my hand's really big, five super cute things. I thought it would be fun to make these a food theme. So the first one we're gonna do is an ice cream bar. So I'm gonna start with a line straight across and I'm going to loop this all the way around. So it's just one big loop right there. And I'm having mine tilted to the side. You could have it right side up if you want to. I just feel like mine needs to be tilted just a bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the stick on the bottom. So I'm gonna follow the same directions as these lines and come down and a little loop at the bottom here. And so there's our basic ice cream shape, but I want to make mine a little dimensional. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down my sides here a little bit. And I'm going to bring this line up and around. These are great things to practice with just to kind of keep in shape for doing like three dimensional things. I'm going to do the same thing right here, put a little bit of a weight there to the stick and there we go now I don't want it to look like it has really sharp points so I'm going to smooth these and make these rounded like so I don't want my ice cream bar to be deadly so there we go we have our ice cream bar now I want to put a little bit more personality to that, so I'm going to put a bite right in here. So I'm just going to very lightly cut out where I want kind of the bite to be. And then I'm going to actually put almost like the teeth mark. So I'm going to have it just like so. They're all going to be angled the same way. So there's the bite, I can erase that line there. And I'm just going to put a cute little cartoony face on here. There is our cute little ice cream bar. All right, let's go ahead and do another one. So let's add another little cute thing because I want five different cute things. So sticking with the sugary theme, let's go ahead and do an ice cream cone right here in the middle. So I'm gonna start off with a nice big circle shape. And then I'm gonna kind of bring this out for the sides for the ice cream and you can make it all drippy and gooey however you'd like. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the cone and you can decide if you want a sugar cone or a waffle cone. I like waffle cones better so I'm gonna bring this down for a nice triangle shape here. Not that you can't draw in an ink pen but drawing in a pencil is really nice because you can kind of add things however you want and change things up or erase anything that doesn't quite look right. So I always recommend to draw or sketch in with a pencil. Now let's go ahead and give this ice cream some good toppings. I'm gonna to put a cherry on top, so I'm gonna circle that right in there. I want to make it look like it's sitting in the ice cream. So I'm gonna erase the bottom just a little bit and then just kind of cut into that a little bit. It'll make my cherry like it's just right there. We'll put a cute little stem on it and maybe some nice chocolate sauce or whatever kind of sauce depending on the coloring. We can even put some sprinkles on it. A little shine right there on the cherry and then again I like to add my little fuzz. I'll have a winking eye on that side. Those of you who have checked out my other videos on my channel, you might think, oh, is this person a cartoonist? Are they an illustrator? I mean, because I've done pieces like this and like this, and here I'm doing this. What is this channel? This art is about having fun, and sometimes doing a large, in-depth, 20-hour piece is really fun for me, and other times just sitting down and drawing some cute little cartoon food items is what I like to draw. All right, so we have one, two, we've got three more to go. Let's go with a cute strawberry. Let's get a little healthy here. 
So for the strawberry, I'm going to start with a circle over here. And then I'm just going to bring it down just a little bit in one area so it makes kind of a very rounded triangle shape. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in the leaves on the top here. So they're kind of like little lemon shapes almost. And we'll add some leaves in the background there. And then the little kind of teardrop shapes for the seeds. But again, I like to put in my ass. This one kind of reminds me, actually they all kind of remind me of my niece's Shopkin. Oh, this one looks like it's crying. <laughs> my niece loves to collect Shopkins. These kind of remind me of Shopkins, actually. I think I was influenced by my niece. Well, there you go. If you ever want to learn how to draw Shopkins, here's a generic version. No copyright infringement intended. So our fourth one, we're going to start off with a half circle. I'm going to draw my line and then wrap this around. We're actually going to do this twice. It's going to be two different ones, but this first one is going to be a watermelon slice. So I'm going to thicken this out just a little bit so we have the watermelon itself and then I'm drawing the rind here. And then we're going to put the, the seeds very similar shape to the strawberries. So there's our cute little watermelon. And you could even put a little bite in the watermelon too. Right there. And then I'm going to make an orange wedge. Very similar. So I'm going to Draw my half circle. And I'm going to find the very center of this. And I'm going to put just a little bit of a circle. And I'm going to divide this in half and then divide this in fourth. I'm going to make kind of this little loop, triangular loop shape. Orange wedge. Put in our cute little face. And again, you don't have to put faces in yours. So we have five cute little drawn out foods. They're super cute. So let's add in some color. And there we go. Super cute, fun food items. I decided to make him a lime instead of a lemon or an orange, but you could just change the color to suit whatever citrus need you have. You could even do like a yellow rind with a pink center, being pink grapefruit and be super original. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see other super cute drawings, go ahead and check out the super cute playlist where you'll find a whole bunch of those. Um, and if you have a suggestion for something that you'd like to see in the future, make sure to leave that in the comment section below. If you're brand new to this channel, hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And as always, God bless you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.